welcome back to what are tnibs for general disturbance this is the t-54 the tier 9 soviet medium tank it's located on the north spawn of prokhorovka and it's under the command of arpenheimer battle started now you can see he's got two marks of excellence on the barrel and he's desperately close to getting his third he just needs to get enough damage in this battle and it's gonna be his T-54, well, it's supposed to be the ultimate medium, but, well, I suppose other people have different opinions. It's got 5 degrees gun depression, very good armour at the front, a weak ammo rack next to the driver, and uh, other than that, it's not bad. It's got a 100mm gun, which has got uh, 320 alpha, a fairly good reload time, 6 seconds. The gun's decent. And the Soviets did build a lot of these before they switched over to the T-62. Oh, he just got nudged. <laughs> T-54, what are you doing? Well, I think for firing on the T Type 5 Heavy, Oppenheimer may lose his chance of getting a high caliber. Because, yeah, when you do that, you do express your displeasure with your teammate for doing that but in fact you do lose the high caliber we've actually found that out so it looks like Arpenheim is not going to get that medal even if he does the highest amount of damage in the game and you know he normally does get a huge amount of damage in these battles well he's taken up position slightly higher up but he's not gone to the to the forward position he's going to let the others spot for him and he's putting back to use the bush mechanic panzer 7 didn't penetrate he's loading the heat he's tracked oh that one hit the tracks i think he's double bush there actually going for the weak spots and he gets it first one 331 so that's a high roll Second one, 354, another high roll. Three more shots and he's got that Panzer 7. Oh, actually now he's a one shot and the kill goes to the Maelstrom. Okay, we've got a couple of targets now. 4502, first shot went through but it's a low roll. Second one, I don't think that shell hit the target at all. I think it went sailing straight past him. Okay, he's putting back. He's going to let the Striv spot for him for a moment. Most of his teammates that went forward, the nuisances, including that Type 5 Heavy, are now dead. Okay, T95, he tracks him. Pulls forward, Leopard Prototype should get straight through that. Didn't connect. Going for the T95 again, aiming for the tracks. And he's picking up damage assist. Going for between the tracks didn't connect T95's changed orientation that one went through T292 low roll is he a one shot yes didn't get the kill though okay he's lost sight we lost the striv as well We're one down on the enemy at the moment, and the rest of the team were trying to tell the Conqueror to push forward. And they're now trying to tell the Fosh to actually move over to the east side of the battlefield. There are a large number of teammates on this side of the field, but I have a feeling that uh, this is where Arpenheim is probably going to make the damage. And he pulls back. Oh my gun, that was lucky, but he takes fire from the enemy, so he was seen. And oh, he's taken a lot of damage. He's down to just 29% of his health now. He did get the kill on that T95, but the moment he fired, the teammates of the T95 who were sitting behind him just all aimed at Oppenheimer at the same time. Some of those were APCR round. Well, the last three shots that penned him were APCR. Going for the VK. Didn't connect. He's only got seven rounds of heat ammo left. Putting forward again, but he's got a large number of teammates between him and the enemy. I 
he's just changing the angle to get that tight for four heavy. Yes! Gets a hit there. I think he's going to farm these ones if he can. Yep, nice. High roll on that one. Go for the flat surfaces. And there's that VK directly in front of the Type 4. Gets another one into him. High roll. Go for the VK. Yes! Right through the side of the turret. Can he get that T95? Is there two T95s on the enemy team? Oh, it must have been a different one. He, oh, no, there were two T95s. It's going for the Capola. Tracking. Yep. He's out of heat now. Standard ammo only. Okay, he's tracked him again. Okay, he's gone, but there are some enemies behind him, including a gorilla. Not sure where that one went. I think it went sailing over the top of them. He did get nice damage on the uh, damage assist on the Waffentrager Alpha Panzer He tracked him and then he picked up damage after that. So he's got 1,000 of damage assist so far, blocked 1,000 and done 3,000 damage. So that might be enough to get the third mark. It's a real killing ground out there, huge number of wrecks all around about in the same area. Yeah, some of the other players are actually trying to incentivize Arpenheim to move over to another part of the battlefield. They were pinging him. He's only got two rounds of uh, HE, 18 of standard APR, AP. I have a feeling that the enemy tanks on this side are not going to move. They're going to wait for our guys to move forward. Our strip's gone into a very forward position to try and get shots on the Conqueror. But that might make him vulnerable. There's a Leopard 1 on the centre line as well, near the Conqueror. Trouble is, if you go over where the Super Con... Oh, is it the Super Con? No, it's just the standard Conqueror. If you go over there, then you probably won't be able to get shots on the Gorilla, T-30 and Skoda if they're over this side. Not unless they're up on the far side of the bank. It is a Tier 10 game, by the way. Obviously, with Tier 9 tanks in it. So he's bottom tier, so he's going to earn extra XP from that. Just hope that there's enough XP already earned to get the third mark. Now, if that T-95 moves forward, the enemy might shoot at him, and that will give Arpenheimer the chance to shoot at them. Everyone's bunching up in that corner. Thank God there's no arty, because if there was arty in this game, they'd look at that as a nice, juicy target to aim at, all those tanks together. And again, he's getting pinged by the Badger. There's the Leopard. Nice shot. Low roll though. 128. He was not seen. He must have been double bush there. Oppenheim is suggesting they attack. And I think he knows that if they do attack... 
there's a good chance that he might be able to then pick off the enemy as they're doing it. The rest of the team is suggesting that the guys on the hill push. There's an enemy tank up there, a heavy tank. In fact, that must be the AMX 50B. And they're pushing him. So they've captured the hill. He's on the downslope. The Leopard 1's been seen near the railway crossing. We've got an STB, a T-54 E1, and they've killed the 50B, which is good news. And the Skoda T-50, one of the tanks that hit us earlier in the game, has been seen near the railway crossing. So they've moved over to try and blunt the attack of the T-57 heavy tank who's up on the hill. It means that there's only two tanks defending on this side of the battlefield. The Gorilla and the T-30. So we can possibly move. And the T-95 is now headed south, but slowly. He's just sort of like moving a few yards, stopping, expecting to get hit. I mean, they've got 100% health, that T-95. I can't see why he, he just doesn't move. Everyone else will pile on in on any enemy who tries to shoot at him. He's using the wreck as cover. Okay. There's the T-30. We've got a shot. No, which means he's probably got no shot on us. But he might spot us if we move forward from this position. Now, really, I would actually be more inclined to go into the centre, drive south and try and catch the Gorilla 15 and the T-30 from their flanks, as well as the Skoda T-50. It's just getting across that centre line. I think Arpenheim has realised that. It is the, the easiest way to get the advantage on them. I'll get to their flanks, get behind them. Okay. And the T 30 suddenly come into view, and now we've got a shot. And his first shot is a hit. 289 low roll. Changing position. And we've got another target, the Skoda. Go for the kill. Fires one in. He's 16 rounds left of AP. Lose sight of the Skoda. He's now blind firing. Unfortunately, we've got nobody to spot. His teammates want him to go down the east side of the map, but he's saying negative because I think he knows that he can hit this T-30 and do severe damage to him. And he's gone! Strip picked up the kill directly after Arpenheimer put a round into him and I agree with Arpenheimer not to actually go down whilst that Skoda was distracted then you could go down the center and pick shots at the T-30 or the Skoda but now it's not such a good prospect because there's nothing to distract the Skoda T-57 Heavy is still up on the hill and if he tries to come down the hill he'll probably get hit by the Skoda well, the guys are moving south on the west side, so they'll pick up on that Gorilla 15. And Oppenheim is ready to take shots the moment he is sighted. His six cents in go off, so obviously he's not been spotted by the Skoda either. He's in a position to take shots at the Gorilla or the Skoda. And that's the one minute Hooter. So he's doing it, he's going to go down the centre. As I mentioned earlier, it gives you the chance, the option. To shoot either way. Skoda is uh, a one shot. Only needs one round to kill him off. But he has been seen. Oh, it was the Gorilla. The Gorilla selected him probably because he XVM'd him. Best player on the team. And now there's three enemies left. And we're 22 seconds away from... A draw. 
The Badger's going for the Gorilla, but I'm not... I don't believe they can do it in time. Well, he got some damage, but it's going to run out as a draw. Oh, and the Badger goes down to the Gorilla. Last shot. That's it, it's a draw. Ran out of time. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. And it's uh, the mark of excellence for Oppenheimer in the T54. He finally did manage to do it. And he also managed to get a fire for effect and a bruiser medal out of the minor medals. No other medal in the game, but he did get a win eight of 3899. Now let's have a look at team score, see where he came. Well, he didn't get the highest damage, so he wouldn't have picked up the high caliber anyway. The Gorilla 15 got that. He got a high caliber with 6,552 hit points of damage. The next high scorer was the Skoda T50. Got 5357. And after that, it was the STB with 4978. Oppenheimer managed to get 3,768 hit points, but that was enough to get the third mark. It nudged him over the top. And he actually managed to get, um, well, the STB managed to get four kills. The Strip managed to get, uh, oh, sorry, the T30 got three. And then there's three tanks who managed to get two kills apiece. Oppenheimer only got the one kill, unfortunately. But when it came to base XP, he was actually, well, fairly way, a long way down the table, actually, in fifth place. Um, it was the Skoda T50 got 661. Then the uh, T55A got 591. Then we've got the STB1 with 554 and the Gorilla got 512. And then we've got Arpenheimer with 495. He fired 35 rounds in that game, got 24 direct hits and 12 penetrations and one splash. Damage of 3,768 hit points, of which 3,756 were at more than 300 meters. He received six hits from the enemy. Four of them were penetrations, two non-penetrations, and he blocked damage of 1,050 hit points. He spotted one enemy vehicle, damaged eight of the enemy, killed one, and did 1,028 hit points of damage assistance. On a premium count, he earned 48,987 credits, but after repair, ammunition, resupply, and consumables, and he did fire a fair amount of heat ammo, yep, he made a massive loss of 110,260 credits. But, as you've seen, he'll make that back in no time at all on Strongholds. He earned 742 XP, and there was no multipliers because it was a draw, and so he only took away 742. But that damage was enough to tip him over the edge, get his third mark of excellence, and you can't take that away from him now. He's got it on the barrel. So congratulations there to Arpenheimer. If you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel if you can, and hit that notification button so you'll get alerted as soon as the replay goes up. Thanks for watching.